Scott from Safe Care Physical Action. Today, we're giving you a workout for pregnancy. So whether you're pregnant three weeks, right up to, let's say, 38 weeks, you should be able to do this workout. We're at 32 weeks right now, and everything that I'm gonna give you is still safe. It's not too complicated. If you wanted to make it more complicated, you can up weights or up resistance or do a second run around the circuit. Let's get this started. For our first exercise, we're gonna try to keep everything in um, 15 repetitions, only because it's mild and um, easier to work with. We're not working with strength, especially if you're at 32 weeks. Um, although your baby is ready to be born, technically speaking, um, everything is functional. You could go a little bit harder if you wanted. It's not usually the one thing we try to do at this point. We're trying to keep you nice and safe. We're trying to keep you limber and strong enough to when you have to deliver that you can push this through. Now we're gonna have some stretches and we're gonna have some workout. So follow along, do what you can. Always go to your maximum unless you have a problem, a medical issue right now. And then you should maybe talk to your doctor, maybe show them what's going on at first. So if you have a Swiss ball, we're gonna start in the Swiss ball. We're gonna have a lot of it. It's not necessary. I just find it functions better. It's more comfortable. You'll see comfortable at this point is something important. So we're gonna start with just making rotations with the ball. And you're gonna start with small rotations. And when you feel comfortable, you're gonna rotate further. Now your back and your belly will be telling you what to do, okay? The only thing is, is you, I don't want you necessarily moving over, okay? I'm gonna do one more rep and I'll show you the modification. So we did 12, I'm gonna show you three modifications, so if you don't have a ball, you can do so. You're gonna stand just a little bit wider than shoulder width apart, and you're gonna do the same motion. Now, the reason we were doing it on the ball is because your knees are not involved. When you're sitting, your, your hips are doing the job, not your knees. If you're standing, your knees will wanna get involved. So be careful, keep it in the motion, like you're hula hooping. Now, next exercise. Still on the ball. We're gonna rock front and back. So you're gonna do sort of like when you're riding a horse, um, it's a pelvic flip. Okay, so you're moving it forward and back. Now there's not much motion going frontwards. We're working a bit of abs when we're going frontwards, okay? So we're squishing up our belly. And then you wanna stretch it out. So then you're gonna strengthen up, okay? So you're gonna do one, two. You repeat this for 15 reps. Seven, this is all warm up. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. If you don't have a ball, I'm gonna turn sideways so you see what we're doing. You're gonna be doing a push your bum out, flip your pelvis up. There you go. And the next exercise, you can use the wall. Um, I don't usually do it with my clients. I usually give a free fall. The problem is, is your ball runs away on you and it will be too complicated. So use something, doesn't really matter what, just put it under your ball so your ball doesn't travel, okay? It's combination exercise. It'll work a bit as your cardio. Take your time. If ever you find that you're getting Braxton Hicks, you're getting contractions, slow your pace down, okay? That's your body saying, Calm down. Tell me all the time, okay? So we're gonna sit on the ball. The first part of our exercise is we're doing a leg extension. So we're working our quads. We're gonna be going up, up. If you feel more comfortable gripping the ball or the wall, go ahead. It's up to you, it's just comfort. I don't want you losing your balance. The combination goes as follows. Squat up, then you have a knee up, and a knee up. So we're working abs in this, but we're also working your balance. You'll see as we do them, the cardio will rise up. Are you ready? 15 of these. So, kick, kick, up, knee, knee. Always check to make sure you're sitting in the right place. 
gonna be. past half. Now I want you to take control of your movements here. When you're sitting, you want to make sure you extend as far as you can out. If you sit further back, you'll have more support. Okay? It'll be easier if you have trouble doing it. When you come up, if you have trouble getting up, don't bounce your way up. Push off your knees. It'll help you out. Always stay with us. That would be it. Now this is a comfortable way of working your tushy. We're going to be working the hips and the butt. Okay, a little bit of the hamstring, a little bit of the lower back. So we're going to start with a donkey kick. I don't want you going uber far. If you feel it's too easy, then go ahead. You can do the range of motion further. I get up higher. You can be lower. If you're more comfortable, go ahead. I don't like that. So it's really a question of how the baby feels when you're doing this, okay? So make sure you got enough room. A donkey kick, we'll start just in front of the knee and we'll go extend completely out behind you. You can go up slightly, listen to your body because you don't want to have too much of a pull in your abs, okay? We're going for 15, here we go. One, two, three, four, control, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. If you need, take a small stretch. Open your knees. Fall in. Ah, excellent. Come back up. We're going to combine so that we're doing both sides at the same time. We're going to get better workout out of it. We're going to go with a dog pee pee. I'm not exactly sure if there's an actual name for this. It's an abductor, but we'll do it this way. Okay? So, dog pee pee, the foot goes up. Now, your center of gravity is going to go over. It's normal. If you don't, you'll fall flat on your face. So, you're going to push your body weight onto the left side. You're going to lift the right leg, not the foot, the knee. And you go back down. Ready? 15. One, two, Eight, nine, ten, 
11 and 12. Good job. For our next exercise, we're going to do a wide row. Now the wide row will work on the back where your shoulder blades and your shoulder meets up. Okay, so we're working upper back. You're going to use a sturdy object. It could be the counter, it could be a chair. I'm using the ball just for the prop. It's easier to film with. And we're using five pound on a side, on a wide row. Five pounds will be about right for 15 repetitions. If you're using heavier, you may want to keep a tight row instead. So I'm just saying if you don't only have a bigger weight, go in, those muscles are strong. So we're gonna do 15. Your body shouldn't move much. You'll see this shoulder won't move much. I don't want you guys doing this. So your motion is drop down. Hand is in a neutral position, facing backwards, right? And you're gonna come up as high as your body allows you to without branching out. Okay, here we go for 50. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You should feel the burn. Eleven, twelve. Don't forget to breathe. Thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. We're going to do the other side. Position, put your weight in the arm, hands block down, facing back, and up we go for 15. One, two, So we're going to be working on our tricep. Super good exercise to do. We're going to need those muscles for when baby comes. The arm that's working will go straight up behind you and it will kick back. So once you're into that position, your only motion is kicking back. Okay? We're using a five. If you only have a three, use a three. If you have an eight, good luck. <laughs> it's doable. Don't get me wrong, but it will be definitely hard. So, start off motion, make sure that your body is in good position. Your tummy is actually going to like this position. It's a good, comfortable position for the belly. Smushy arm, lift her up. Once it's up, it's locked in there. We're going back to 15. Are you ready? Here we go. One. usually 15 pregnancy they, the nurse will tell you avoid lifting anything more than 20 pounds okay if you're usually doing it it's fine if you're not doing it don't try it okay so the combination is a bicep hammer curl and we're going up straight into a shoulder press okay we're doing this motion very simple don't swing okay your ligaments are loose when you're pregnant that's what happens, it wants you to be ready to give birth. So we don't want to be pushing those around. Are you ready? 15. Up and up. Bring it back and down. No swinging. Two. Don't forget to breathe. Three. If you're talking, you're breathing. Four.
you're going straight up, you're not going out, you're not going in. Almost there. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Good job. We're going to be working our chest. We need this working. We don't want milk chest to hang down later, so we want it nice and strong. The wall push-up is safe. It's not difficult. You can make it as difficult as you want by lowering your hands. Backing up your stride, okay? Or make it as easy as you want by having your hands higher up and closer to the wall. I'm going to use medium grade. I usually find that having a bit of an angle feels better. So the wall push up, if you have wrist problems, you can go either on your fingers, on your fist, up to you. Find a comfort spot, okay? I'm on my fingertips. You can go as wide as you want. Middle grip is usually where you're going to be comfortable. Are you ready? We're going for 15. Trying to touch the wall. One, the body planks, so it's not moving. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, Flexibility. We want to keep you strong and flexible. You can't have one without the other, so you got to work them both. Okay? Do your best, and it's a whole combination. We're going to just follow through. I'm using a five pound ball. If you don't have one, you could use a five pound weight and use it the same way we did the ball. Okay? Except for one exercise where we'll drop down to two pounds, and I'll show you in this motion. Okay? So, Take a ball. Gonna keep your hands, your elbows are near your ribs. The reason I want you there is we're gonna be doing some exercises. I don't want all the shoulder to do all the work. I just want the body to have some kind of resistance. So we're gonna do a twist. Now when you're doing your twist, you're gonna go as far as your belly allows you. Without, come back to the center and go to the other side. As you do this and you get more comfortable, your back will limber out, your abs will limber out, the baby will settle down, you'll be able to go much further. If the head follows through in the motion, you will also gain more ground. So we're working on our abs and lower back here. Okay, are you ready? 15. So we're going all the way as far as we can. Coming back to center, always work as far as we can the other way. One. Breathe. trying to stay in the angle that's 
close to us, about six to eight inches, all the way through. So our motion, I'm gonna turn sideways so you see what I mean. Our motion is to be there, not, okay? We're not twisting the body. The body is staying as straight as possible. We're only going as far as our shoulders allow us to. So, are you ready? We're gonna do 15 on one side and 15 on the other. This is not as easy as it seems. And it will be, your, your arms will come really close to your face and that's normal. So do your best. If your shoulders hurt, take a break. Start over up. You ready? Here we go. As far as we can, up straight. As far as we can, down below. So we're doing your whole motion. Of course, one arm's gonna be bending. You don't have much of a choice, right? Or else won't go around. If your motion is too difficult, stop halfway. You'll see it much easier and go up. All the way down. Stretch, 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 stretch. One, all the way down. Stretch, 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 stretch. Two, take your time. Three, four, control is the key. Five. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. If you should have felt that in your hamstrings, your butt, and your lower back. Are you ready? We're modifying slightly, so we're going to change weights. This is a little too heavy to do one arm at a time. So we're gonna change, take something light, water bottle, 
something that's two pounds if you have it. I have these wonderful balls. Perfect. Two pounds. Okay. Now, basically, what we're doing here is we're doing a swim. I'm going to creep up here. Don't want to hit any obstacles. So, we're going to do a front crawl, a back crawl, crawl, both sides. Okay? Now, in this motion, you might have to close your stands a little so that you don't hook anything. You don't want to hook anything. You can do this standing, but again, like the hula hoop that we did prior, you want to make sure that you're not moving the whole body. We're really working on the shoulder. Okay? So in your motion, we're going to start forward just because we can. We're going to go forward slowly. Go as far back as you can. You're reaching as far as you can. Up straight. Down in front. Not here. Here. And all the way through. So we're trying to do like the clock, but on our side. If your arm only goes there, that's fine. It's not a problem. Go as far as your shoulder lets you. So that's one. If you feel crunchies, it's normal. Three, four. If you feel pain, it's not. Five, six, seven, and eight. I don't do 15 on this. Trust me, you'll know if you try it. We're going to do the other eight in the opposite direction. One, and I'm reaching as far back as I can. Reach, 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 reach. Like swimming. Three, four, five. Seven and eight. We're going to switch arms. Do the other side. Forward. Eight times. Reach, reach, reach. Forward. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Switch direction. Reach to the back. Seven and eight. Now we're going to finish this off with a bit of stretching. You did do some stretching throughout. We did the rotations and things like that, which is stretching on the ground. We also stretch in child pose. We're stretching the upper body at this point. So this is a nice combination you can do. It's nice and soft. Go through as far as you can. Hold it. We're going to do it quickly. I'm showing you how, but you can hold it 30 seconds in each position. Are you ready? And make a big circle with your arms. Big circle. Once you have your big circle, you're going to dump. This is a bucket full of water. I'm going to dump it. One, two, three, four, five. That's what we're going to hold it. You can go right up to 20 or 30. Other side. Two, three, four, five. You could repeat this in different angles. You could go lower, do the same motion. You're getting in here, a very good stretch. Now we're going to take the hands, flip them over. So now you're stretching your forearms. Okay, feels very good. You're stretching your hands as well. Keep those flexible. We're going up. Now reach. You're going to be pulling in the ribs now. Before you were pulling in the ribs towards the back, now it's the ribs in the front. You're going to feel your abs working. Okay, push it up. And then just slightly move over. You'll feel it right through here. It feels fantastic. Center, pull over to the side. One, two, three, four, five. Release. Let the blood come back. You're going to grasp your hands behind. And you're going to pull back. What that resembles is this. Stretch. Pull back. And we're opening up the chest. You've had here a workout that works a little bit of everything. Slightly cardio if you're doing everything in the motion and you're following through. If you want to do a second set, then you're actually working endurance and cardio. So go ahead. If you feel so, do so. All I need you to know is that you have to drink water. Drink a little water. See the coloring? You need that, okay? <laughs> but drink some water. Make sure you stretch and listen to your body. If you're getting contractions, Slow down. If you have any issues, shoulders, knees, or whatnot, write to me and I'll give you some different positions that you can use to modify what we have. So I hope this was useful. You can use this throughout your whole pregnancy. I love you and good luck in birth.